Hi guys, I'm Yong from SG Audio Hive. Uh, welcome to the first video of our channel. In this new channel, we'll be going to do a lot of tutorials on DIY audio, namely how to repair your own audio gears, how to build your own audio gears, including cables and a earpiece, even headphones maybe. In this new channel, we'll be going to do a lot of tutorials on DIY audio. So for our first video, we'll be starting from the very bottom, a very very common issue everybody is facing, uh, having a loss of sound in one side or both sides of your earpiece. And today, we are going to teach you how to repair your audio jack. Okay, uh, firstly, we need to identify that the problem exists at the jack, the part where you plug your headphones into the phone or the auto player. Okay. So next, we need to identify if you have a 4-pole or a 3-pole jack. Okay. The difference between these two jacks is that uh, a 4-pole headphone, headphone jack usually uh, comes with a mic for your hands-free. So they do come with, with a mic for this model. And I have another one with uh, a regular headphone jack. This is just for audio only. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? Uh, the number of contacts here, we have three contacts for the standard headphone jack. It's uh, for your stereo, the left, right, and the common ground. So it, it's only for your audio output. But whereas uh, in this uh, TRRS, uh, the four pole jack with the mic input, you have a stereo, a mic ground, a, a common ground, and the mic signal itself. That's how the inside of the jack looks like. Okay, so before we start, uh, what we will need for today is very simple. We need a broken headphone, earphone, uh, some basic tools, a plier, wire stripper, uh, this is a scissors, a pair of scissors, uh, some blue tacks, or if you prefer, you can use a helping hand if you have. A standard soldering gun or soldering pen. Of course, you will need solder and string tubing. This is for uh, more secure and professional finishing. Of course, we will still need some glue. This is a hot glue stick from the hot glue gun. And of course, the replacement jack itself. You will need this to replace your, your current uh, jack. Okay, let's just take a look at the inside of the standard one. Okay, so basically uh, for headphones jack, the inside we are uh, usually uh, we have three wires, four wires or five wires, depending on what uh, kind of headphone you have. The most standard ones we have three wires. Uh, they are for the left signal, the right signal, and the ground signal. So I uh, let's see. And we have a lot of different types of uh, earphones in the market. Okay, some of them come with this uh, braided, it's a, it's, a, it's a braided wire. So we are, today we're not go going to go through about this. Today we are going to talk about very, very basic ones. This the one. And let me just show you some of the other, other earphones. We have the corded ones. They come with a nylon sleeve, so you do have additional work for this. This one comes with a mic. Okay, in general, because uh, when we are doing uh, this uh, jack retermination repair job, we have to know the color coding. Uh, in most cases, uh, uh, let me just cut this and let you check. In most cases, uh, we will have red, green, uh, blue, and this uh, the copper color. The it's more like a it's like a beige, uh, light brown color. So. In, in in the most standard format, red is always for the right signal and uh, blue is for the left signal or if you have green present, green will be the left signal and uh, blue and the beige colour will, will be the ground signal. Let me just take a look at the inside of this and let's see what does it have. Okay, so, wait, so you can see we have green and the beige, the, the copper colour. 
So green and copper. So the copper will be the ground, the green will be the left signal, and the other side we will assume it's going to be red. Okay, yeah, we have a red and a copper color. Okay, since what we have here is a four wire, so uh, we have uh, two of the same color, the copper color, we will group them together as a bundle. And this step is what uh, we have to start using the soldering iron. This is uh, where we actually coat the wire itself uh, with a layer of the solder. It's called thinning. Okay. As you can see, uh, the, this part is uh, coated with the, the solder already. Okay. What we want to do, uh, because uh, the colored wires, uh, even the non-colored wires, they are actually coated with a layer of paint. Uh, that's to prevent the wires from touching each other inside the insulation. When we are thinning this, uh, we have to burn away the the paint coating. So you have to give it a few a few seconds on the iron. So what we do, we will coat the iron with a bit of a uh, solder, and we will start to fit the solder into the wire itself. You can see it start start to burn away and we have a good coat of tin here let's do the last wire okay one thing to take note uh, during soldering uh, is uh, we, we actually produce a lot of films uh. so if you're doing this as a, as a hobby uh, we advise you to do it in a ventilated area or near the window with a fan. Uh. What we have is two ventilator fans. Uh, they are not on because uh, they make a lot of noise and not very suitable for video taking. So as you can see, the amount of smoke coming out. These are actually toxic. Okay, so this is a stereo jack. Uh, it's a stereo replacement jack. Uh, for the normal stereo uh, earpiece, this one doesn't come with the mic, so we'll be using the normal TRS. The first ever thing you have to do is to place the barrel into the wires because after doing this for 10 over years uh, I still forget this step sometimes and we have to redo the whole job okay next it will be the heat shrink for those who don't know a heat shrink is a it's a special tubing uh, where you apply heat to it uh, it will actually shrink that task the name heat shrink Try to find the most suitable uh, the sizes here. So we are using a 3mm heat shrink here. And finally, the this is the DIY jack. Okay, if, as you can see, there's a clamp here. Some of that, some of the jacks doesn't come with a clamp. So uh, this is we have to open up the clamp. So if you take a look at the at the standard one, uh, maybe I'll put a drawing or what. Okay, uh, at the tip. This is what we call the tip, and this contact, the second one, is what we call the ring. And finally, the one that, which is the biggest at the bottom, connected to the, the, the barrel and everything, this is called the sleeve. So it's a TRS, a tip ring sleeve setup. So what, what is the configuration of this? The tip always is the left. The ring is the right. And the sleeve is the ground. When we translate this into the, the part that we solder, uh, we always have to take a look. Because the sleeve, as you can see, the ground, the sleeve, is connected all the way to here, to the clamp itself. So this is the last signal. This is the very, very last. So this will be the ground for the clamp side. Okay. And if you take a look at this, uh, it's actually mirrored. So whatever is at the first one will be the, the first one here so this is the left and this is the left so this is connected to the tip and this is for the ring, the right this one so very simple uh, we have the ground here ground, left and right this is a very very basic setup for a stereo jack okay, um, you can opt to use a helping hand if you want or if you do not have, uh, get a blue tag. The same thing for the jack and uh, 
the wires uh, we have to thin the contacts so, so let me just uh, thin the contact what you do is you want to apply heat to the pads to the soldering area and fit the solder inside apply the heat there and fit the solder for the ground the same thing you apply the heat and you fit the solder they have a nice tint to it okay so the next step as you remember the red is the right the copper color is the ground and we braided them together uh, two into one and this is the left signal okay when we take a look at the the thin part of the wires uh, they are not very neat some of them are too long so you have a spare scissors we can just trim it down it's to make soldering easier okay now we have them very neat and short so the whole process only take one or two minutes as you can see the center is the ground we will sol we'll solder it to the ground pin What you want to do is uh you just uh apply heat apply heat to the to the soldering pads on the jack itself and when the solder start to melt you fit the the wire to it. It takes only less than one second for each point. Sometimes you you have to assess a difficult area you may, you might want to use a, a pair of a tweezer to avoid getting burnt on your hand. That's the last one. Okay. Okay. So let me just take a look at the jack. It's done. Most people finish the job here, but it doesn't last as long as you want them to. So we have to clamp it down. Okay, and we have the shrink tubing and the casing from before. So the string tubing is here. We want them to cover the whole contact. Everything is placed contacted here. We will make sure that it fits. Okay, the glue that the glue stick that we prepared just now, cut a small piece of it. And what we want to do is to put them inside the jack and the between the 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 heat string. So that when you when you string them down, the glue will melt and uh, you will actually fill up a portion of the of the interior. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's two ways to to string down a tube. You can use a lighter, or you can use a heat gun. Uh, most of you do not own a heat gun, so a lighter is uh, more accessible. We want to get the windproof lighter, the one with the it's more like a torch, and we want to avoid the flame touching the heat string for too long. So every time we burn is about 0.2 seconds and we let it go so that there's no blistering or any uh any melting of the of the string tubing. Okay, finally we we'll close up the casing and we will be done. We are done. Okay, always need to find the appropriate size for your heat shrink and your and your cable and your tubing so that it is a uh, uniform, it's very uniform. Okay, so for the jack, uh, you can actually find them on our website and uh, we will come up with kits, DIY kits for repair where you can just purchase the whole kit for, for a repair job. Uh, they will come together as a, as a, as a, as a set and uh, you don't have to do all the pairing itself, uh, they, are, they are already paired. Okay, now we are done with the very very basic uh patients are uh, on current IEM. Do follow our Facebook and Instagram page. Do let us know in the comments uh, what you want.